Alright guys, here we go. RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm Jerry Van Hook, a.k.a. Shaquita Lee. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this video of me, the diva of town. A little bit about myself. I've been doing drag now for 13 years here in the Washington, D.C. area. I got my start playing with a softball team which is called Naga. It's a gay softball league here in Washington, D.C. I used to play for a softball team called J.R. Gamecocks. And they have a pageant every year, which is Camp Drag. So I did it, and I won. Go figure. So after that, I thought about, you know, doing drag, and you can get that much money by doing, putting on nails, heels, and a wig, and a dress for four or five minutes. Oh, I can do this. I feel powerful in every way. I love when the men love me, the women love me. They all love me, baby, cuz I'm a star. I am the diva. <laughs> Clean. I don't do windows because I am the diva. I've seen some clips of what Shaquita Lee can do in her costumes while she's performing. Now it's time to see my drag closet. What trips me out is every time somebody auditions for one of these shows, they always show that their drag closet is all neat and clean and shoes all lined up. Girl, please. You know good and well your drag closet don't look like that. Your drag closet look like this. Follow me and check it out. <laughs> this is how a drag queen really lives. Um, this is my drag closet and... Everything in here is just thrown away, but I know where everything is, so you can't come in here and take anything. You know how the drag queen's corner house will take stuff. But these are some things that I made. This is a, a gown that I made. It's a polka dotted dress with a um, front body of a Miss Continental pageant. This is my very first competition gown that I made, which looks really, really good on me. And I have over 300 pairs of shoes, but I'm going to show you a little bit of some that I do have. I try to do, when I do drag, I try to have a shoe for every outfit that I do. So I never try to wear the same shoe over and over again with a different outfit. I have a wide range of boots. I love my boots. I love my shoes. Um, it's just all kind of shoes that I have. And I just go shopping all the time. You can never catch me with something that don't match my outfit because I always prepare. And I always have all How would you like my closet? <laughs> Where? Bitch! <laughs>
<laughs> my biggest accomplishment today is that I have my own reality TV show, which is Access Cable. And I had the chance to interview some contestants from previous RuPaul's Drag Race from season one, BB Sahara Benet, and season two, Tatiana and Sahara Davenport. So, I'm looking forward to interviewing myself once I get on RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Tatiana, by looking at the drag show at RuPaul's Drag Race here, I've really enjoyed you so far. And girl, you are really doing your thing. How are you liking it? I'm loving it. I love watching the show, seeing everything put together. It's been amazing. Feel the tea with Shaquita Lee, and I'm standing here with the beautiful and talented Miss Sahara Davenport, straight from the RuPaul's Drag Race uh -huh. season Hi. two. And guess what? We're here auditioning for, what am I auditioning for? Priscilla, Priscilla, Priscilla Queen, Queen of the, of the Desert. Desert. And you know they need a Tina Turner, and look who I found, you know? another Tina Turner. <laughs> An imposter. Ain't, ain't that some shit? That's cool. <laughs> Will the and real then? Tina please step forward? <laughs> That was I, everybody. That was I, Turner. Trust and believe. That was I, Turner. Miss Sahara Davenport. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Spill the team with Shaquille Lee, the one and only from RuPaul's Drag Race, Miss BB Sahara Bananas. It's my Shaquille Lee 2010 calendar. And so you see, just to cut her short, this is what I'm talking about sisters doing it for themselves. That is why this is amazing. I mean, we need more artists to be inspired in this way because anybody can look at this and be able to really appreciate the craft, the talent, the energy, the artistry that goes into this. And to me, this, these are the things that inspire me and should be inspired. Also, I had the chance to appear on several television shows. Well, one thing I have to say that we're here to celebrate life through diversity and entertainment. And what America needs is diversity and entertainment. We're here to show you. Oh, in my fabulous documentary, September Issue. That's so, RuPaul, watch out, girl. I'm giving you that look. Cover girl, put some bass in your walk. Head to toe, let your whole body to toe. Cover girl, put the bass in your walk. Head to toe, let your whole body to Cover girl, put the bass in your walk. Head to toe, let your whole body to Walk. Now walk. Uh, uh. Catch me every Friday and Saturday night at Town Dance Boutique. It's on 8th and U Street, Northwest DC. Uh, showtime 1030. And you can also catch me at Nelly Sports Bar on 9th and U Street every Sunday. I do drag brunch and every Tuesday I do drag bingo. Yeah.